everybody, Greeny Man here. Uh, just had a delivery, courier. Um, brought me this box. 20 kilos net weight. It's come from Wiltec, Germany. Wiltec.de. That's the address. And it's a uh, double XL transport wagon. 550 kilo. Uh, we burn a lot of wood here, that's our source of heating, hot water, and so we have to move a lot of wood, we cut some wood, and moving it around the land can be a bit of a problem because uh, in a wheelbarrow it's not very stable. So I've decided, I saw these and I thought, you know. This would be a really good investment um, for the for the farm. So we'll see how we get on. I'm going to cut this plastic. We'll take the bits out and see what we've got. Okay, plastic's been cut. So we've got mesh side, two of. It's like a nylon liner that fits inside the, the truck. We've got a cutout for putting longer pieces in. It's a rectangle shape, so that's one of the short sides of the rectangle with uh, like lever catch things on. That's a carry basket which goes across the top between two sides. Four of these wheels. A handle with shot blasting balls in it from outside when they must have before they painted it a handle like the axles I think that's an axle that's a fixed one with the two holes An axle with a, a thick washer on, that must be the swivel for the steering at the front. A piece of cardboard. It's like a. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's for. Maybe that's for like a hitch, a tow hitch or something, I don't know. Um, pack it in bits, nuts and bolts. Some very basic instructions, which should be sufficient to put it together. Oh, there's the piece we've just been talking about. It's like a steering piece between the two. And that last piece there is obviously the base for it. With two threaded pieces there for one axle and the single one there with the washer for the front steering axle. So, give us some tools together and see what we can do. So, I've put the steering onto the Washer on 19mm on the back, the axle on two washers, two 19mm. I'll we'll tighten those down with a ratchet.
obviously not super tight, but enough to stop any wobble. Good. And these two. Good, solid, bit of movement for steering. The wheels, I've put three on, there's a valve on the outside and on the inside. They just simply slip on, you see there's a hole there for a split pin. So we pop the wheel on, take our split pin. Insert through, get the longest side, oops, it's very cold, it was minus six this morning, so my fingers aren't that, oh, great. So it's not a super great idea, as you can see there, the valve's catching that, so what I might do is actually spin the, pin, the split pin round and bend that side. Oops, sorry, couldn't see what I was doing there. Bend that side up, so it's like that. Sack the cameraman today. So I'm going to do the rest like that. And that's the wheels on. Then the arch bracket for the handle goes on. Two 19 mils in with washers. I tighten those down now. Need two hands for this, so I'll come back to you later. So that's bolted on now, so we can steer. Next job is the other part of the handle. I've got this piece. Putting that into there. And then we have to offer that. Then that piece. I don't know if I'm able to do this with the camera, but we'll see. Can I go through there and uh, not on the other side? I'll come back to you in a minute. Made a bit of a mistake before. I put the split pins in without that washer on. It's in the washer. So I'll just go around and do all the wheels, take the pins out, and put the washer back in. Next job, I'm going to tighten that up. It's 13 mil because it's a nylon nut, it's a nylon ring you'll have to tighten it just so the threads come out the other side and then that will be captive then it won't come off it secures itself and the next job is put the handle on pin through, split pin through another pin that'll secure that on there I'm hoping that perhaps I can adapt that to take the um, to fit on the back of the 
garden tracts or lawnmower that I have. That'll, that'll be a good uh, mini trailer for it. So there's a the finished truck. Got the arm, the wheels. That's the bit wobbly, but that, we know that comes off that, at the pivot. And it's got the bag for if you've got any small stuff, uh, leaves or something, stop it going through the mesh. That just clips on with the tags. You can have it on or off. I'm thinking that'll be good when we do the apple harvest. You can put all the apples in. If you want to unlock the side panel or the back panel, you lift up the latch and that releases that. 